round five, we had another second pick. We took Richard LeCount, the safety out of Georgia. What, what do you know about him? Did we get a steal? Is he a special teams? You know, what do we got? All right, here's the deal with Richard LeCount. Uh, my tape grades on safeties, he was the second best I watched. His pro day was abysmal. <laughs> <laughs> And, but I don't think he was healthy as his pro day. He he had like a, he had like a moped, motorcycle wreck, something or something. He wasn't recovered and he probably shouldn't have participated. So here's my thing about what you just said. So you said on tape, he was the second best safety that you watched. His pro day was abysmal. There's only one of those two that I care about and it's the tape on field. I don't care about these guys pro days. I mean, as long as the tape shows that they can play football and that they're good on the field, because like you said, these guys, you don't know what kind of other circumstances that they're dealing with whenever they go out there to run a 40 and they, they run a slow 40 or whatever, but then you watch them on, on tape and they're burning everybody. Listen, you know, there's only one of those that's true. I, I don't care what you do off the field because when, when Sundays come around, you're playing on the field. Yeah, I, uh, you know, it's obviously it's only junior high football, but I coached junior high football for 10 years. And before we put the pads on, you wouldn't believe how many kids, you know, great in shorts. I mean, these guys, this is this guy's going to lead the, the league in touchdowns this year. And then we throw a helmet and some shoulder pads on him. And it's like, where'd this kid go? <laughs> you know, so I, I care right with you. I care about on field production. I care about good football players, not, you know, good runners yeah uh brian could you can you tell us a little bit about what you saw on the tape with richard lecount that made him the second best safety you saw because i don't think we've talked a lot about him and i don't know i've, I've heard from people that that we got a good pick in this guy he's he's going to be a leader on the defense when he plays he's a ball hawk probably more of a free safety than a strong safety he could even play nickel, to be honest, if, if if need be. He's not the best tackler in the world, uh, but he covers space so well. He anticipates well. He's he's right where he needs to be on the field at all times. He just needs to finish better, and that's probably why. And that's why, along with the pro day and everything else, is why he was available in the fifth round. Well, I mean, that's exactly what – that's a perfect pick for the Browns if he can develop into that kind of player that that you've been describing here because we don't need him to be a leader on the defense this year. We don't need him to be a starter, to be a, a huge producer out there. Mm -hmm. But it, next year and the year after, if he can be, that is awesome. Yeah. You know, and again, like we talked about, even with Newsom in the first round, you can't have too many right. good secondary players. And yeah, depth this year because we saw that last year. You know, we're playing safeties and corners off the practice squad. We're signing guys – today and playing them tomorrow like we we need this depth